with BMAX Soc Mega Soccer Bet Belgrade here in the opening possession. And here is Labovic. Five assists a game for Labovic, which would usually be pretty good for the starting point guard of a team. But when you've got guys like Juricic and Jokic, well, he sits third now on that list for team assists. First turnover of the game, and that's going to be a big factor for Mega here today. They've turned it over 32 times against Valencia in the opening game. And there was a look at the coach of Mega Soccer Bet Belgrade. Dragolub Avramovic. Avramovic has perhaps two of the top offensive weapons in the entire tournament playing in his starting five. And, well, if they can control their turnovers, Barcelona are going to have it difficult here today to top this Serbian side. Here's Bonilla, had a fantastic first game. Looking to get started off on the right foot, but long on the jumper. Labovic up the sideline to Juricic. If Isic wants it down low, he's got the size advantage, the height advantage at least, over Naji, and he shoots right over James Naji for the game's first points. If Isic averaging 16 points a game to go along with his 11 rebounds. Bonilla, Caicedo. Caicedo spots up off the pick and banks one home. Caicedo, after a 20, per, 20 per, point performance yesterday, gets off with a bank three. It's Saturday here in Valencia, but the bank is open. Labovic fouled by Naji, and that'll be on the floor. First foul for Naji, and he's got to behave himself defensively. So important in the heart of that Barcelona defense. Up and over the top, it's Ivisic. Ivisic puts it on the deck, gets around 9G, and Ivisic with a couple quick buckets out of the gate for Mega Soccer Bet Belgrade. Caicedo, jab step, goes one way, and then the other. Here's Naji. Not quite the spot up shooter like Ivisic is, but he likes to get to the rim, and he can score when he's around the rack. There is Najee with his opening bucket. Using his strength and his size to get to the rim, and Jovic, first attempt of this third game, and he left the three ball short. Catch and release for Ordonez, no good. Najee there with the rebound as Avisic fumbled it. Najee picking up the loose change and put it in his pocket. Bounced off the head of Ivisic. Juricic stepping to a three, and he left it short yet again. Caicedo. Caicedo thought about the pull-up. Give and go. Caicedo, baseline pass around the horn. Extra pass. Here is Villar, and he gets fouled by Labovic. Great ball movement from Barcelona. Had their best offensive performance of the tournament in the last outing against Valencia yesterday. If they use up all those buckets, they'll be hoping not. But Mega will be hoping certainly so. Another foul, and that one, a second quick one on Labovic. He does run their offense. He doesn't lead them in assists, but he is the orchestrator. VR, Naji wasn't ready for the pass. Caicedo, six on the shot clock. Caicedo, up top, guarded by Avisic. There is a lovely spinning hook from Caicedo. How did he get it to go? Outstretched hand and the sky hook from Caicedo. Jovic, backdoor cut, Labovic, outside. There's Juricic, extra pass, Jovic yet again into the lane. Got the foul, rattled in and out, and he'll go to the line to shoot a couple. Hey, hey, 
Barso with the early five point lead here. Labovich to the bench after picking up a couple quick fouls. Ivicic the only one to score for Mega so far. Jovic to the line. And he can't hit the first of two. So important for Jovic to get out to a big start and he's off with the first two free throws of his night, of his day I should say. Guy Sado averaged just under 30 points a game in the qualifiers. That's dipped down a little bit, down to 18 now here over the course of the two games. Guy Sado looking to get off to a hot start. Oh, that's a mistake on the outlet pass from him outlet pass from Avisic and yet again turnovers plaguing the start for Mega Soccer Bet BMAX. They've got to be much more courteous with possession of the ball. Well, they've been a little too courteous with possession haven't they in terms of the turnovers that they've been committing. Bonilla, defender on his back. Gives it up, VR at the top of the key, left it short, and Jovic pulls it down. Jovic with seven rebounds a night. VR over to Ordonez. Ordonez took a heavy hit, and Najee's there with the rebound and the putback. Four points for Najee, and an 11 to four run out of the gate for Los Cules. Barca looking good. Mega's offense is struggling against this Catalan defense. 11 to 4, and we're going to take a break here from La Fonteta. I'm playing for one team on and off the court. To reduce inequalities. To inspire people in need. To train life skills. To make a real social change. To be there for each other so that no one is left behind. Get your We Are All One Team gear to support pandemic community relief initiatives. We are all one team. Back in play where Barcelona's defense has been all that it's been hyped up to be here in the opening four minutes of play, Caicedo has been out of the gate hot with a three ball off the bank and then going inside with a lovely little finger roll that went in. Here it is right there. A highlight in the early going for Caicedo on the flying hook shot. And Bogovac into the game for the first time. That is one heck of a weapon coming off the bench. Bogovac on the baseline. Leading score for Mega. Bogzitsky had it knocked out of his hand. Seven on the clock. Didn't reset to the shot clock. And Jovic short on the shot yet again. Well, he's got to keep from getting frustrated. Ivisic, there's Bogovac right there. Juricic was fouled by VR and still struggling on the offensive end. They would have never thought that coming into this tournament that this is a team that might just struggle for periods of this ANGT finals. But Barcelona has them reeling at the moment. They've got to figure out a way to loosen up this stingy Barcelona D. Ivisic. Here's Juricic. Juricic over to Bogovac. Step back three, Bogovac, and they're just settling for a lot of really difficult shots right now. Barcelona forcing them into it, though. You got to give credit where credit is due. Bonilla got himself into trouble and was bailed out after Juricic had the last touch. and. An inbound, VR getting a little sneaky, and Bogovac was all too wise for it. Okay. 
Najee. Got some work to do on his offensive game, but defensively, like I said, and on the boards, he is fantastic. When he gets around the rim, he is a finisher. Kick ball, and that will be another inbound with the shot clock resetting. Just four points in the first five minutes for a team that averages 92 points a game, 97 points a game, excuse me, in this tournament. Caicedo spinning, jumper, no good from the lane. And here is Kobzitsky. Vicic, Juricic, Juricic took a stumble on his way to the basket and Vicic the only one to score for Mega here in the early going with six points. Bonilla, no good, there's Najee. Najee with the late foul as he'll go to the line to shoot a couple. He was waiting for the whistle to blow and it came up a bit uh, late, but it finally did come from the referee over on that far sideline. Najee struggles from the free throw line, just 25% in qualifiers. Didn't do too well for yesterday from the free throw line either, but of course it really wasn't needed in that blowout win over Valencia yesterday. Two for six from the line for Najee, and well, he'll get another chance at it after a lane violation. There he goes, third time to charm for Najee, and the lead is six now as Jovic, where is Nikola Jovic? He has been silent so far through the first five and a half minutes. Where is Juricic? Jovic, the only one to score for Mega. Here's Juricic. These guys can get hot in a hurry. Juricic, baseline drive, leaves it off. There's Kobzitsky, and Kobzitsky there with a floater over Naji. Naji's jump was impeded by the rim, I believe, and that's how you see a lot of jammed fingers. Good to see he's okay. VR. VR to Caicedo. Caicedo in the corner, and it was halfway down before popping out. Jovic, tremendous body control. VR was putting his body on the line, waiting for the contact. And VR with his second foul. He knew he got himself into trouble. Watch his reaction there. Uh, he just pats himself on the head, saying, What are you doing, Rafa? He's important for this side. VR, six and a half rebounds and six assists a game. And, well, Najee coming out and the big boy from Northern Macedonia, Simic, into the ball game. Going right after him, down low. Dump off for Kobzitsky, and he gets the and one. There's quite a Serbian contingency here in the stands at La Fonteta. And, well, some of them may be Ukrainians cheering on Alexander Kobzitsky. He did have 12 points in the qualifiers back in Serbia, and well, he has added to that and added to his resume here with the first two games. Off to a good start with five quick points. And we got a one point game all of a sudden and a turnover by Barcelona. So Mega on a bit of a run here, turning up the defense, turning it into offense, and well, you knew it was gonna happen. You can't keep Mega off the scoreboard the entire game, and Barcelona's got to expect that. Well, that was not the prettiest of plays from Juricic, who is yet to get into this ball game. The big two for Mega is still reeling, still trying to figure out how to get baskets against this tough Barcelona defense. Simic, double screen set for Granja. Granja, and that's an offensive foul on Simic, his first of the day. And Mega in the bonus from here on out, but not being an offensive foul, they won't get free throws. 
Here's Jovic again. Held scoreless through the first seven minutes. Caicedo stepped in the passing lane and, well, troublesome there as Caicedo on the ceiling score. Jovic already looking frustrated and just gave up on the play. Instead of chasing Caicedo down, looked at Avisic and let Caicedo just stroll to the rim and not the attitude you want in the biggest game perhaps of either of these two teams most recent history. Bogovac going to the line to shoot a couple. For me, I was talking to my companion, my co-commentator who was doing the other half of these games, Andy West. And I thought this guy right here at Bogovac was going to be a big key to Mega in this third game. I don't know how much of an impact he will end up having at the end, but I do believe that Mega, if they're going to be successful against this Barcelona defense, Bogovac is going to be a big reason why. Uba drop back. Simic on the three-pointer, and that's off the mark, but Caicedo was in trying to get the tip back. Juricic fouled, and he'll get to the line for a couple free throws, which might just open up his scoring account. Granja with the foul. Granja averaging 12 and a half points over the last two days. Had 17 yesterday after an eight point performance against Stella Azura in the opening day. Juricic is officially on the board. Jovic is the only one that Megar is still waiting for. Juricic hits two of two, and Mega take their first lead of this ballgame. Uba, Caicedo. Blue ball, top of the key. He was hot from long range yesterday and starts his day from the field off with a miss. Juricic. Two minutes to go. This is what Valencia found two days ago against Mega Soccer Bet Belgrade and Jovic battling on the boards down underneath and he's on the board with his first field goal. That'll be big for Jovic, not just getting on the board scoring-wise, but getting down low and getting his hands dirty on the rebounding end. Ubal. Ubal takes it right at Ivisic, and it was tapped away by Bogovac. Nice play by Bogovac. There is Ivisic running the break, the big boy, at 2 meters 16, and Jovic fouled. That'll send him to the line for a couple. I did say that was the first lead of the game that Mega got out to just moments ago, but they were up for a few moments there in the early, early, early going at 0-2 and 3-4. Nine fouls already for Barcelona. Villa, Granja, and Ubal. Both with, all three with two. And Jovic gets that one to go after missing his first two on his Opening trip to the free throw line. Three points for Jovic. Off the mark with the second though, and he's just one of four from the free throw line. One of the best players in the tournament has been strolling. Caicedo streaks to the lane and gets the bucket off the glass. Caicedo with nine points of the 16 scored by Barcelona already. Ivisic showing the range, but that rattles in and out. And Bonillo with the rebound. Quickly up court. Ubal passed up the open three. Caicedo down low to Simic. And Simic pleading for that to be an and one. Well, you can see there, Ivisic, he's so long, but sometimes with that 
high center of gravity can push to be, be pushed out of position. And well, Caicedo has had a fantastic start to this first quarter. 20 points yesterday, and he is continuing with the hot shooting. Double team came. Bogovac almost slept in the passing lane. Ubal, Ubal into the paint. Lost control of his footing and of the ball, and a turnover by the Blaugrana. Forty point seven to go here with Mega up by two. Barca got out to as much as a six point lead, I believe, and then Mega came battling back. That's what we can expect in this game. A game of runs, a game of offense versus defense, and teams will have their moments of glory and have their moments of frustration like Jovic has been having here in this first half and first quarter I should say and well this will be a testament to his character let's see if he can overcome a difficult opening to this important game here in this A and GT finals I don't want I don't I don't know the history of these teams and each of their players, but you've got to think this is the most important game either of these players have ever been a part of. Bogovac, six on the clock. Bogovac, tough shot, leaning in the lane, and well, with 1.2, Barcelona are going to get a last gasp effort here in the first quarter. Caicedo. He's been hot, but that's not going to drop for him as the three-quarters court effort fading away is well short. An entertaining first quarter here, 18 to 18. Barcelona led by as many as seven. Mega came back in that in the last part of the first quarter, and we're going to take a break here from La Fonteta with the game of the day, Barca and Mega tied after one. I care. We care. Do you care? Do you plant trees? We plant trees. Plant with us. One euro, one tree. Barcelona off to a hot start with nine quick points and then the Catalan club cooled down a little bit as Mega took command for a moment and we are after 10 minutes all square here at La Fonteta. And that's what we expected in this match. If you talk about pace of play, I definitely think it suits Barcelona more than it does Mega Sacrebet Belgrade, but they've shown over the course of the tournament, Mega, that they can handle the pressure, and even when the game is in the balance, you'll always expect them to just turn it up on the offensive end. That's what they did against Barcelona. They did it the entirety of the game against 
Marcella Azura and Bonilla. Floater from outside the lane. Bonilla is on the board here today for the first time. Bonilla with 13 points, 11 rebounds, and five assists in the opening game against Stella Azura. Kobzitsky, Kobzitsky jacks the three well, strong Kobzitsky, and Caicedo with the rebound. Here comes Uba. Uba pull up from downtown, and that is Ubal's first bucket of the game. Augustine Ubal who was three of five from downtown yesterday. Bogovac stepped back and Ubal punished him. Bogovac, Jovic, spot up three, too strong, and Kaiseido with another rebound. Ubal. The Ukrainian. Gets it into Simic, and it will be waved off. An extra step for Simic before banking home that close-ranged effort. Five-point run out of the gate for Barcelona here in the opening couple of minutes. Ivicic getting the ball well beyond where he likes to get it down low. And Caicedo drags down another rebound and a foul against Vucurovic. Andrija Vucurovic picks up his first as he is just off the bench recently. My apologies to Augustine Ubal. I said Ukraine, I meant Uruguay. The Uruguayan dishes it out to the corner and a long two from Castelnau was rimmed out and a foul called on the rebound attempt. Juricic. Back and forth on the screen, Juricic, open jumper from inside the arc, and Juricic with his first field goal of the game after knocking down two free throws. Four points for Juricic. Bonilla back to Castelnau. That Simic tapped away by Ivicic, and there you see Ivicic's impact on the defensive end with those long arms at 2 meters 16. Bogomac went down, got it out to Ivicic before being whistled for the travel. Juricic just hit a long jumper, but that three-point effort is no good. And Ubal turning on the Jets, fouled on his way into the paint. And we'll see who it was against. I believe it will be called against... Juricic. His second, so you gotta be careful there. Jurisic is maybe the most complete player for Mega. Jovic getting all the accolades after the 30 point per game performance in the qualifiers. But Juric, Juricic with 15 points a game, 10 and a half rebounds and seven assists. Discussion between the referees and not exactly sure what about as they were just explaining it to Ubal and maybe a clock issue perhaps. There's 7.13 and 24 on the clock, but they're going to bring it back to 7.23 on the clock. So let's have a look here. 23-20, it's exactly what we expected this game to be, an even battle between an offensive juggernaut and a defensive side that has given up less than 50 points a game in this tournament. Here 
There's head coach of Barcelona, Fabian Tellez. Augustin Ubal. That was his only points of the game so far and getting started where he left off yesterday after some hot shooting in a 14-point effort. Simic, catch and release off the inbound. No good. Caicedo couldn't drag down the rebound. And off goes Jovic. Bounce pass up. There's Juricic. Euro stepping and finding a load of bodies down underneath. Feeling the effects of running into not just one brick wall, but two of them in Simic. And Ordonez. And Yaki Ordonez is the one who picks up the foul, but that was really dealer's choice there, wasn't it? Or referee's choice, I suppose it would be. There is Juricic back to the line, and he is perfect so far from the free throw line, three of three. Can't say the same for his scoring partner, Jovic. Four of four from the line, six points for Juricic. Uba, Uba dropped Vucurovic, and oh, watch out there. Mind you of a hockey rink where Juricic had to watch out as he almost went crashing through the glass in the scores tables. Employees ducking for cover. Ubal, Ubal off the screen, pulls up off the dribble, and there's Avisic with the rebound. Up to Bogovac, Bogovac into the lane, gets it out to Jovic. Jovic dumps it off, and Avisic there with the dunk. Two-fisted slam, and Jovic playing distributor. Bonilla with the travel, and he knew it as soon as he heard the whistle. Well, if Jovic is gonna struggle shooting the ball today, it is pivotal that he still maintains an offensive threat. Passing the ball off like he did in that last possession. Here he is, and out of control there. That's an offensive foul. Trying to force the issue after getting to the lane last possession and dumping it off to Ivisic. VR taking the brunt of the punishment and earning an offensive foul charged against Nikola Jovic. Bogovac goes under the screen, which leaves Bonilla wide open, left the three off the front iron. VR wrestling for the rebound. Simic with a foot on the line, too strong. And Juricic picks up the rebound. Bogovac left his feed. Coaches will tell you never to do that in that sort of situation. Ordonez, kick out. Caicedo, short on the three. Long rebound, falls for Ordonez. There's Caicedo, spinning into the lane now. Caicedo, and whistled for the walk. Have a look there, he did well to get some space, but just dragged that shuffle foot. Hasn't been the cleanest played game as of yet. Eight turnovers for Barcelona so far, and eight for Mega Soccer Bet Belgrade. Almost halfway through the second quarter, and Labovic off the bench after picking up two fouls, and he gets swatted at the rack. Excellent defending for Barcelona, as expected. Jovic, baseline. Kicks it out, Bogovac wide open, in rhythm, too strong. 
Naji there off the bench. Bonilla finding VR. VR beating everybody down the court and a transition bucket for Barcelona moving quickly off the rebound. Juricic weaving his way through traffic, gets to the baseline, kick out. There's Bonilla with some active hands in the passing lanes. Ninth turnover for Mega Soccer Bet Belgrade. Caicedo. There's Naji on the baseline, muscling his way to the basket, jump hook in the lane, and Naji with seven points. 27 24, Naji with nine points. Visic to Jovic, Jovic fouled and one, and there is Jovic finally with something to celebrate on the offensive end. Five points for Jovic, he's going back to the line to shoot where he is 0 for 4, 1 for, 1 for 4, excuse me, he did drop one earlier in the second quarter. Bonilla picking up his second, so that's four Barcelona players with two fouls before halftime, almost halfway through the second quarter. Got to be a bit more disciplined defensively, but this is an aggressive team on the defensive end, and they'll take their chances. Caicedo, Naji, Naji Anivisic, working on the block, turning, spinning, looking, and that is swatted away. Excellent defending, defensive stance that time for Mega Belgrade, and a triple team came from Najee. When those come, Najee's got to learn a bit more to try to dish it out. There's teammates open on the perimeter, and Najee couldn't find them there. Of course, the shot clock was winding down. Perhaps that was crossing through his mind. Labovic, Evisic, he can hit that. Off the mark there, though, and it's gathered by Bonilla. Another turnover, and here comes Kobitsi now. Kobitsi and one. Kobitsi drawing the foul on Caicedo after a dangerous pass up court, and Caicedo planted his feet, but he was just a bit too late. He was still moving, still shuffling, and brave defending there from Caicedo, but it's the Ukrainian going to the line to shoot a couple, to shoot one. 81% from the free throw line and off the mark there. VR, look at him speeding up the sideline. Ordonez kick out, Caicedo's made one from there already. Can't get that one to drop and Naji down low, Jovic on the D. Naji hanging and finishing off the glass. 11 points for Naji. He's the first one in double digits. Then steps into the passing lane. Here comes VR. VR off the glass. And oh boy, that was awfully ambitious as Barcelona going for the highlight reel dunk here in one of the most important games of this tournament. Have a look. He knew Caicedo was dropping off. He were waiting for the dump off, but VR goes the flashy route, and it would have been one for the history here in the Adidas Next Generation Tournament Finals history. So VR going to the line to shoot a couple. No, excuse me, that is Ordonez, isn't it? Ordonez knocks down two of two, and we've got a 31-28 game here with three minutes to go in the first half. Game has been played on a razor's edge for the second quarter. Kobzitsky, Labovic thought about it from downtown. Five on the clock, got to move quickly, and Najee there, skying for the block. Mega asking for the goaltending call, but Najee got there in time in the eyes of the referee. VR, Ordonez, baseline jumper no good. Labovic with the rebound. Kozitsky and Jovic will slow things down with two and a half to go in the first half.
Spinning, turning on the baseline. Jovic, no good. There's Kobzitsi finishing in traffic on the putback. Hitting the boards hard, Kobzitsi. He's two meters one, wasn't the biggest of guys down low with Bonilla, Caicedo, and Naji all lurking. Caicedo this time gets to the free throw line. Too strong on the jumper, and that is Ivicic. Labovic gliding to the basket, beating everybody down the court for Barcelona. And we've got a 32-31 game here on our hands with under two to go. Back and forth the lead goes, and Bonilla this time over the outstretched hand of Ivicic, and long rebound connected by, collected by VR. Off the screen, Caicedo. Caicedo. Finding Bonilla, Caicedo again. Caicedo floating in the lane right as the buzzer sounds and giving Barcelona the lead back here with a minute to go in the first half of this ball game. 33-32, Labovic taking the contact off the glass and a smooth finish from Labovic. David Labovic was Known more for his assisting coming in than his scoring, but he's got a couple quick buckets in the last minute or so, and we are under one minute to play in the opening half. And we're going to take a timeout. Barcelona needing a timeout here, down by one. This game, as tight as it can be, plenty of lead changes in this first half. Not much between the two teams, and we've got an exciting 21 minutes left here from La Fonteta in game three of day three from Valencia. Neither team shooting well from downtown, but be mega Belgrade, especially with an 0 for 9 performance here in the se second quarter. There's been seven lead changes in this second quarter. Thanks to my man, David Hine, the next gen guru sitting back at home in, in Germany and well, we're missing you here, bud. Hope to see you next year. Caicedo in the corner. Caicedo for three, no good, and the struggles continue. Barcelona just two three-pointers in 14 attempts. Bogovac, he's had a quiet game. Cross-court pass, finding Vucirovic. And it will be a kick ball, so the shot clock will reset after going down all the way to six seconds. And a timeout for... Mega Soccer Bet Belgrade, as Coach Abramovich wants to talk to his boys. was one of the nine points, well, two of the nine points for Kobzitsi and Caicedo. After a nine-point first quarter, he's got uh, two since then. He's quieted down, but the rest of the team has come to play. A low-scoring affair, but Mega doesn't seem to mind just yet. They know if they can hang around and they'll get their runs in. It's just a matter of time. You 
can't keep Jovic, Juricic, and Ivicic quiet for 40 minutes. And they're still in this ball game. And well, Barcelona, they've been playing well defensively and on the offensive end. Both teams could be shooting better from three-point distance, but 44% from inside the arc for the Catalans and 56 for that man's side right there, Alexander Kobzitsky. Final couple of possessions as we are under 30 seconds in the first half and Bogovac finding Jovic. Jovic drawing plenty of attention coming off the screen. Jovic, four on the clock. Jovic still with it on Naji. Pull up jumper. Jovic from deep and Bogovac there. Bogovac double team coming into Jovic now outside. This is Vucurovic too strong on the three ball. Ubal off to the races. Two on the clock, Ubal. Ubal with the runner, and we go to the halftime break with a one-point Mega Belgrade lead. It has been back and forth as there were seven lead changes in this second quarter. Barca took the early lead in the first few minutes of this third game of day three but Mega came storming back. The three big boys for the Belgrade side have been quieted by the Barcelona defense. That's what we were looking for, that matchup, and plenty more to come in the final 20 minutes of play for one of the biggest group stage games in recent memory here in the next gen finals. So we're going to take a break here from La Fonteta. We've got plenty more action to come. Don't even think about going anywhere. We'll see you in a couple minutes here from La Fonteta in Valencia. I care. We care. Do you care? Do you plant trees? We plant trees. Plant with us. One euro, one tree.
Welcome back to Barcelona, where we have a tight game here through two quarters. It has been exactly what we expected. These two teams who have been, well, favorites of this tournament, favorites to take the title, coming in to not just this weekend, but since these groups were announced many, many months ago, and uh, this game living up to the hype. Barcelona has Mega playing their game at the moment, holding them to 30 po 34 points in the first quarter. That's the good news for Barcelona. The bad news for Barcelona, they trail by one. And so far, Jovic and Juricic have not been themselves here. If they can find their way on the offensive end, well then, Coach Tellez's boys from Barcelona might just have themselves a rough go in this second half, but Bonilla and company have other ideas. Bonilla and the rest of his teammates are getting a few final words from Coach Tellez before this second half gets underway, and what a treat to have these two teams playing in this all-important game three on day three. A championship spot in tomorrow's title game. Up for grabs here, and we've got 20 minutes to determine a winner. Here's a look at Ivicic, and he had the opening six baskets, well, three baskets, six points for Mega Soccer Bet Belgrade. And then Kobzitsky came to life with nine points. Jurisic then hit a long two and went to the free throw line a couple times. And Jovic, who has struggled from the free throw line, ended with five. Caicedo and Naji both with 11 points. The rest of the cast for Barcelona haven't quite stepped up yet. Who will step up for the Catalans in this second half? Naji and Caicedo needing some help. The Serbians going from right to left on your screen as the teams change sides here coming out of the gate. That is Nikola Jovic. Jovic with five on the clock, guarded by Naji. Kicks it off. Kobzitsky from deep and gets the roll to start the third quarter of play here for Mega Soccer Bet Belgrade. Naji. Naji off the mark, swarmed by defenders and got fouled and will go to the line to shoot a couple where he has not been. Fantastic. The first three-pointer of the game for the Serbian side coming out of the gate in the third quarter. They were 0 for 10 until that point. Naji sinks the first of two free throws and that's a big sign for James Naji and Coach Tellez because he is not a fantastic free throw shooter, but he's made two of three here today in route to 12 points. Splits the two from the line and rebounded by Jovic. Juricic into the lane, fading away Juricic off the back iron and it went off of Kozitsky last. Seven rebounds for Nikola Jovic. It hasn't been his day on the offensive end, but he's been doing other things. Two assists, six, seven rebounds. He's drawn six fouls. Najee, that's a dangerous pass over the top and had a steal to the resume of Nikola Jovic's day. Babovic had two quick fouls in that first quarter, going right at Najee and Labovic with a smooth lay-in, taking the contact from the big boy from Barcelona. Bonilla, that pass was a bit unexpected from Bonilla to Najee, and now Najee got to get back in 
position defensively. Ivicic took the long ball and just barely grazed the front iron. How about that for some transition basketball? VR, quick trigger after catching it in stride. And look at that. Was expecting it and went up with the shot. A millisecond after catching the rock. Foul by Bonilla, and that's trouble. That's number three for Gael Bonilla, who hasn't had the best of offensive days, but he is so important with those long arms and the quick feet. He's going to stay in the game, working on Jovic now. Jovic, skip pass over to Bogovac. Bogovac into the lane, and that's stuffed by Najee. Caicedo running the break. Caicedo down the lane. Floater no good. Najee there. Show him the strength. Show him the guns. James Najee. You got to flex after a big dunk like that, my man. Jurisic. One point game for. Mega soccer bet, Belgrade, Juricic down the lane and jamming over Barcelona's defense. Bonilla then cruises right down Main Street and where was the defense there for Mega? They were still jacked up about that jam from Juricic. Jovic into the corner and there is Bogovac. He has been quiet today. Will he come to life? Three minutes have flown by here in this third quarter. The offense starting to roll on both ends. Najee from the baseline. Too strong, Najee. There's Jovic with the rebound, poked away by Villar. Bonilla with the three. He has been off the mark today. Jovic, back and forth we go. Over to Kobzitsky. Kobzitsky in the lane. Difficult shot, and he was sliding from side to side through the lane. Bonilla. VR, how important has VR been for Barcelona today? Ordonez backing into the paint, and Ordonez, difficult shot. Kobzitsky got tangled underneath the legs of Kobzitsky, and Ordonez helping up the Ukrainian. And that's a foul on Ordonez, his second. I'm going to have a substitution, Bonilla to the bench, he doesn't look too happy with the way he's played today. Najee heads to the bench with 14 points. Well, have a look at this off the miss. How about the springs in Najee's step? Going for the rebound and in one motion comes down and pops back up for the dunk. Bogovac, here's Juricic. was going streaking down the lane and the bounce pass was picked off by Barcelona with a outstretched foot. Ivasic left that effort short and Jovic is down underneath. He's got Eight rebounds to go along with his seven points, and there was a good bit of defensive play by Juricic, who might have been called for the foul. The inbound was a bit too lackadaisical from Caicedo, and Juricic bails out Caicedo with his third foul. Keep an eye on that Juricic. A foul about 90 feet away from the basket and rather unnecessary. Although he's trying to slide in, it almost caused a turnover, but is it worth it to risk your third foul on a play so far away from the basket? Ivasic, more like a Serbian goaltender than anything else right there with a kick save and a beauty. the 
corner, Caicedo wide open. He needs to get hot for Barcelona, and there is the call to action. Michael Caicedo, 14 points. And we've got a three-point game on our hands here with 5.20 to go in the third quarter. Kobzitsky and Kobzitsky fouled on his way to the bucket on the baseline. Third team foul for Barcelona here, 5.15 to go. As Kobzitsky got a little shot to the face from Simic. Jurisic. Jovic still stuck at seven points. Neither of the big two have double digits for Mega. It's been Kobzitsky leading the way for the Serbians. Caicedo, he's got the hot hand, 14 points. It's been him and Naji leading the way. Simic down low working on Jovic. And that's a flailing elbow by Simic. An obvious call there. Simic picking up his second in a matter of seconds. Ordonez Bonilla with three, VR Granja and Simic with two. Juricic with three for Mega. Here's Bogovac. Hasn't ha quite had the impact that Mega have been looking for. Ivisic turning, quick jumper in the lane, no good. And there's Jovic again. He hasn't been able to do it from long range, but hitting the glass hard. And with those putbacks, he has piled up nine points. Ganal. Caicedo. Off the screen, Caicedo. Left his feet, got it back to Simic. Simic gets the roll off the glass and back to a three-point game. Simic with four points. Bogovac. Bogovac into Ibisic. Ibisic got a good look down low, and that's three quick fouls on Simic. How long will we see Naji on the bench for? Well, give a lot of credit to Nikola Jovic for continuing the fight despite a tough offensive outing here in one of the biggest games of his life. Ivisic going to the line to shoot two free throws, a chance to reach double digits at eight points already today. Can't convert on the first. Six rebounds for Ivisic. Nikola Jovic already is in double digits with his rebounds. And off the mark with both. How much will free throws come into play later on in this game? Mega have not been shooting well from the charity stripe. Ganal, long ball, well off the mark. And Bogovac had the rebound. VR again with a second steal off a of mega rebound. And Caicedo capitalizes off the mistake from the Serbians. Jovic. Working on Caicedo. Labovic. Labovic into the lane, dumps it off. There's Ivisic. He was left wide open after the double team came on Labovic. Simic was slow to transition over to the other side of the lane. 10 points for Ivisic. Simic. Bodying his way into the paint and that was a bit out of control that shot right there. Labovic has a lane to the bucket. Labovic gets it to go and a timeout Barcelona. Five point lead for Mega. Under three to go. And like we said this game starting to pick up on the offensive end. We'll take a quick break here as we take a last glimpse at Labovic. It was a parting of the seas down the seam. And Labovic said, yeah, I'll take that.
back in play here with under three to go in the third quarter. And Mega trying to pull away, but Barcelona just not allowing them to. And it's been this man right there, Caicedo, keeping Barcelona in this ball game. But an air ball from downtown, and Labovic now over to Jovic. Jovic down low, and look who's in the game. It is Stanojevic. Philip Stanojevic, who went over in the first game, just four points last game. Ordonez picks up number four. And that's trouble for Barcelona, who have already been in, Bar in foul trouble. Stanojevic to the line, gets one of two, and Mega have really not been good from the free throw line. 56%. And that time Stanojevic gets both to go. A rarity here to see the Serbians knock down two of two on a trip to the free throw line. Uba over to Caicedo. Caicedo driving baseline. Caicedo trying to take this game over as he takes flight on the baseline. Stanojevic guarded by Naji. Naji outside on the perimeter. Jovic down low. Jovic with three hands in his face, and it's Nikola Jovic finally getting some love from downtown. Smooth stroking Nikola Jovic is in double digits. He's got 12. Tied for leading, score for Mega. Kaiseda, ooh, he backed off, did Labovic. And Kaiseda, you can't give him an ounce of space, an inch of space. VR high arcing three off the rim. Naji streaking in, and a foul coming against Stanojevic. Whew, let's take a breather real quick while we've got a dead ball. This game is picked up in intensity, picked up in offense, and well, it certainly favors Mega, the pace of this game. Caicedo in the corner. And a technical foul after the touch foul by Labovic. Mega were on a run, and they didn't need that right there. The technical, aside from it being Labovic's fourth foul. Ubal going to the line to shoot one, and he's off the mark with the free throw. Awarded by Labovic and his technical. Inbound from the corner. I always say it's one of the toughest places to inbound from. Not much room to work with. But Ubo eases the pressure from Caicedo. Ubo floating, no good. Naji, look at Naji going at the boards hard. And Naji with the and one. He'll have a chance for a three point play at the free throw line. Well, there was three mega players in the vicinity, but Naji brings it down and drops it home. Three-point play is not completed from Naji as, oh, that was the mega big man down though, Stanojevic and Kobzinski fighting after the rebound and Neither could gather it as they both fought against each other for it. Have a look at the rebounds. That's been a story all day long. Barcelona dominating on the re rebounding end, even though you would think that Mega has the size advantage, but just being so aggressive and so tenacious on the rebounding battle. Bogovac picks up number two. Ubal going to the line. Chance to cut it to four point lead here. and. A wry smile from Avramovic. Didn't last too long, the smile from Avramovic over there on the 
mega sideline. And again, free throws, free throws, free throws. Really struggling, both sides, 10 for 17. Mega, and hitting one of two was Ubal. Approaching a minute to go here in the third quarter. Stanojevic gets fouled on his way to the cup and he will go to the line. Didn't see the end of the shot, Stanojevic, and he was asking, is that an and one? But indeed, he'll get two shots. Michael Kaisela, you see down there, picking up the foul with 18 points. He's one of the few not in foul trouble. Stanojevic gets the roll with the first. Mega Belgrade, if they advance to the championship game, it would be a repeat of the 2019 championship game back in Victoria Gasteiz when Real Madrid won the title, and it would be a rematch. Caicedo with a difficult angle on the right-handed layup from the left side, and Barca keep it alive with an offensive rebound. Ubal passed up the three. And Ubal, did he save it? No, he didn't. Ubal, a mistake there. Caicedo. Is the heart and soul of this team. Every mistake, every player that might be a bit down, Caicedo's right in their face telling them, hey, pick your head up. We still got 10 minutes and some change to go in this game, and it's only a six-point spread here with Mega leading a timeout from La Fonteta. Despite his problems, Nikola Jovic with 12 points, 10 rebounds, and six assists. And can you believe we've been calling this an off day for <laughs> Jovic? He really did struggle, though, in that first half, but his persistence on the offensive boards paid off big time, and it's got him to where he is right now at a double-double. And with Mega in the lead at 58-52, under three minutes to go here. There is the man, Nikola Jovic, under, just under 30 points in the qualifiers. His numbers have dipped a bit as the competition has raised. And, well, he is still putting up fantastic numbers. And looking to have a chance tomorrow to add to those numbers. But he's got to take care of business. So does the rest of Mega... Soccer bet Belgrade. Bogovac almost lost it. Four on the clock. And it's Jovic who's going to go back to the line where he hasn't had a spectacular day. Just one of four. One of five, excuse me. Have a look again. Villar getting in the way, taking the punishment, and getting the foul called against him. VR with three now, Bonilla with three, Ordonez with four, and Simic with three. Jurisic has been on the bench for quite some time with three fouls. It's been Stanojevic who's come in and played a nice little role here for Mega Belgrade in this third quarter. Jovic knocks down both and he's got 14 points. That's what great players do. They just keep chipping away, chipping away, and soon they're flirting with 20 points as Jovic is right now. VR driving, kick out, Caicedo. Three ball no good. Najee there with the rebound. Najee saves it, but 
That is Kovzitski. Who comes up with the loose ball, 10 on the clock. Jovich with the ball in his hands, calling for a screen. Here comes Ivisic. Ivisic sees Jovich jack the three, and well, not exactly the shot, perhaps, that Jovich was thinking of. And the worst part of all is that they have given Barcelona 1.7 to try to find a bucket. Caicedo wants it, receives it at half court. Long ball from Caicedo is off the mark. Ten more minutes to decide the second finalist in the championship game in the Adidas Next Generation Tournament Finals. Don't go anywhere. This game has been tight all three quarters and you'd expect nothing else here in the fourth from La Fonteta. Take a quick break and be back with the final quarter of ac action from Valencia, Spain. Mega lead by eight points. They're just 10 minutes away from a rematch of the 2019 Adidas Next Generation Tournament Finals Championship game that we saw in Victoria Vasquez, but they've got to defend their title here. Their eight point lead with Najee going right to the rack and getting fouled. It will be on the ground. If there were to be a rematch in consecutive years, well, not consecutive years, but consecutive tournaments, it would be just the second time that it would have happened. Third time it will happen. It's happened twice already. Cheska beating Zalgiris in 05 and 06, and Zavena Bezda beating Real Madrid in 2014, and Real Madrid getting revenge the next year in 2015. So that's something that Real Madrid We'll be hoping to avoid exchanging wins and losses if Mega come back against the Serbian team in the championship game. Lavalinch in form here in the fourth quarter. He's in double digits as he drains the three and it stretches this lead out to 11. Caicedo answers right back from a corner three. And here we go. Half court pressure being put on. Jovic down low, almost got its desired effect from Barcelona. And here comes Ubo. Ubo all the way to the rack off the steal and the score. Excellent defensive pressure, changing up the look for Mega Soccer Bet Belgrade. And they looked a bit off put there. Here it comes again, those two top guards in the 2 3. Pressuring, Labovic out top, out wide to Kobzitski, and Kobzitski steps on the baseline. Barcelona full of energy to come out of this fourth quarter. 
Substitution as Granja comes into the game. Ubal heads out. Ubal with just six points. Granja has really struggled after putting up 12 and a half points in the first two games. Over today. Bonilla. Bonilla, that's a travel, and we've seen him do it a couple times. Another turnover for Barcelona. Let's see how many that makes it. Labovic. Still haven't quite figured out this extended zone from Barcelona. Bobzitsky. Under 10 to go, Jovis jacks the three and doesn't get the roll. 14 turnovers from Barcelona through the first three quarters. Not terrible numbers there. Naji down low, keeping that foot pivoted. And a foul on Ivicic. Ivicic has three now. Here's Caicedo. Caicedo with 21 points, the top score today. Ivicic was the last to touch it as it bounced off his shins and out over the baseline. VR. We are looking for anybody, and there is Juricic, who spent the majority of that third quarter on the bench after picking up his third foul. Caicedo off the mark with the long ball. Here's Labovic, gets it over to Kobzitski. Labovic lost it. Here comes Caicedo. Caicedo into the corner, extra pass. This is Granja, they need it but they won't get it. Jovic with the rebound. Jovic out wide. Looking for Jovic, this is Labovic, and Jovic hanging in the air, absorbing the Najee contact. 16 points for Jovic, showing his class in this second half. Five of 10 from inside the arc. He's hit one three as well. Granja from downtown, off the dribble, no good. Juricic, bounce pass, that's Kopzitski, and oh well, Granja wanted the smoke as he challenged Kopzitski in the air, and a foul to come as Kopzitski is being made to earn him the old fashioned way at the free throw line. Granja was not willing to give up that dunk, which means he picks up foul number three. And maybe a sign that Mega have the fortune favoring them. Off the back iron, above the backboard, and drops down all nets. Bogovac coming into the game as Kovzitski heads to the bench. Walking to the bench with a bit of a grimace in his face as he gets the medical attention over on the sideline for the Serbians. VR up top, Naji there, Naji up and he'll get it to go with the foul. A potential three-point play for James Naji. Naji patient down low, waited until he got Ivisic in the air, and then went into the contact. Well, you think Abramovich is uh, having a good time over there? Have a look at his shirt. He's feeling the pressure. Naji rattles home. The three-point play, and that's a big shot there from Naji, who struggles from the three-point or the free throw line, but he hits the free throw in a big moment. Over the top, that's Ivicic on the lob from Jovic. Jovic can't believe that didn't drop. No look pass, and Kaiselo with the jam. 
Excellent fast break. B are feeding Michael Caicedo. It was Bonilla. Bonilla with some flash. And Caicedo with the finish. Thunderous dunk on the lightning and thunder. Time out here, Mega Soccer Bet. Wanting to talk things over. Down by five is Barcelona. Six minutes to go. Tense moments here from La Fonteta. Jovic has been incredible today with 16 points. Eleven rebounds, six assists. There you see it. Nerves might just be setting in, but don't tell Caicedo and Najee, who have looked fantastic today in this pivotal game in Group B to decide the second finalist in the championship game. Jurisic, Bogovac in the corner. Ivicic wants it. Najee with some strong hands. Caicedo holds up play, down by five. No need to rush with under six to go. Bonilla out wide, guarded by Go Bogovac. Here's Najee now, receiving it a bit farther from the paint than he might just want, but getting it on the floor and getting it to the paint for the easy jump hook. Close to the basket, 21 points for James Najee. This 2-3 zone has really been a storyline in this fourth quarter. Bogovac for three, no good. Ivisic there with the rebound. Went off Jovic last. And Barcelona will get the ball. Billowing with confidence at the moment. Labovic goes to the bench with his four fouls. Ivisic to the bench as well, which is interesting. Najee will have the height advantage over everybody on this. And they go right after him, didn't they? They knew it. Mega had their short lineup on the floor as Ivisic and Labovic both have four fouls. And they're trying to preserve Ivisic for this last stretch. Can't imagine he'd be on the floor on the bench for too long. The loose ball was picked up by VR. Out to Caicedo, three-point game. Bonilla with the pump fake, driving baseline. Bonilla gets the tap to go. Bonilla following up his own miss. It's been a tough night for Bonilla, but he gets the big bucket to bring the game to one point. Jovic fouled by Caicedo. 9-0 run for Barcelona in a pivotal point midway through the fourth quarter. Second team foul on the Catalans. Well, we've talked about it. This is the pace of play that Barcelona wants, and they've slowed Mega down here in this fourth quarter with this 2-3 extended zone. They have not had an answer for it, Mega, so far. Bogovac. Deep three from Jovic, well off the mark, and what a coaching display from Coach Tellez. This has been a fantastic adjustment that Mega has had no answer to here in the last five minutes of the fourth quarter. 67-66, an 11 point lead in the fourth has been dwindled down to one. 4.20 to go. Bonilla driving left. 
over Jovic and Bonilla. Wouldn't you know it with eight points suddenly after a rough three quarters. He has come to life and given Barcelona the lead. Juricic has it knocked out of his hands. And Ordonez has just seen his day end knowing that he has picked up his fifth foul and off to the bench he will be. And I think that's why the protest came so hot and heavy from Iñaki Ordonez. He will send Juricic to the line, just eight points for Juricic. And how about this Barcelona defense keeping the big boys quiet for Mega Soccer Bet Belgrade. Well, there was that 11 point lead for Mega, but this game has been even Stevens throughout. You really couldn't tell a winner, even when the game was at a double digit lead for the Serbian side. Juricic with a missed free throw. Fifteen of twenty-four from the free throw line. And Jurisic connects on one of two to tie the ball game. Four minutes to play here from La Fonteta. This is a big basketball city, and they are being treated to a fantastic match here between two of the best teams in all of Europe. Five on the clock. Bonilla's got the hot hand. Bonilla into the paint. That's Ubal with the three ball, and it was too strong. Najee collecting the rebound on the offensive end. Caicedo in the corner. Left it short. Caicedo, Najee juggling. Najee there with the putback. Second, third, fourth attempt from Najee. 23 points for the Nigerian. Barca in the lead. An 11 point fourth quarter comeback. Juricic gets the roll off the front of the rim. Ubal. Caicedo. Ubal in the corner. Had to fumble it a bit as the pass was just a bit wayward. Najee on the block. That's Ivasic in the game. Ubal couldn't control. Caicedo flips it over his head to VR. VR for three. No good. And Ivasic holding off Najee. Bogovac throw it right into the hands of Caicedo. And here come. The Barcelona gang. VR high up off the glass, and it is VR with the bucket. Six points for VR. None more important right there than that one. 72 to 70. Back in the extended 2 3 zone. Bogovac up top. There's Jovic, slings it out. Here's Juricic, top of the key. No good, and Ubal with the rebound. A chance to make it a two possession game with a bit over two minutes to play in this fourth quarter. Bonilla slides it over and Naji wasn't ready for the pass. It was a good look from Bonilla and if Naji collects that, that's a guaranteed deuce. Well, take this moment to catch your breath because we've got two minutes to go in a Bang out fourth quarter that has been spectacular. This entire game has been incredible. It's exactly what we expected. Juricic, VR in the corner, steals the ball, intercepts the pass. Caicedo spins around. Here's Bonilla into the corner. Ubal open for three. Open for business. FC Barcelona lead by five with under two to go. And what? A look it was across into the corner from Bonilla. Ubal drains the three and a two possession game. Mega need a timeout. Caicedo leading the charge as he so often has done. Bonilla spots Ubal in the corner and Ubal makes no mistakes from downtown. Bogovac lost his man, came creeping in and Ubal punishes Mega from downtown. Eighteen to three run over the last few minutes for Barcelona and give so much credit to obviously the guys on the floor, but give 
a lot of the credit for holding Mega to just three points over the last few minutes too. Fabian Tellez. Tellez has switched the defense to an extended 2-3, which has absolutely stunned Mega Soccer Bet Belgrade here over this fourth quarter. Look at that, you think Caicedo isn't the leader of the team in that Barcelona huddle? Think again, barking orders at everybody, inspiring his team, even when they were down 11. He was there in everybody's faces telling them, come on, let's go, and go they have. Here comes uh, Mega. Three-point ball from Bogovac. Big bucket there out of the timeout. Nerves of steel. As if you missed that, then you're really in trouble for Mega. But a big basket. And now Barca's turn on the offensive end with Bonilla. Turn around from the baseline, Bonilla. Smooth as you like, Gail Bonilla. He's in double digits with six fourth quarter points. Juricic getting some space, collapsing the defense. There's Jovic, Najee with the block and Jovic is going to go to the line. 65 seconds to go here. Both teams battling for a spot in the championship. Remember, Jovic has not shot well from the free throw line. Just three of seven in an otherwise spectacular day. And that is long on the first attempt. Jovic shot 75.7% shot in the qualifiers. Back at the line now, and he knocks down one of two. Barca need a good look. Mega need a stop. One minute to go in game three of day three. A spot in the final, and that is an offensive foul. VR on the ball screen, charged into Kobzitsky. And a big mistake there in a game that's been chock full of turnovers. <laughs> calling for calm is Coach Avramovic on the sideline. And, well, he might need somebody to call him to calmness as well. Nervy moments here in the final minute. Rafa Villar is out of the game with his fifth foul. Just think, there's two fouled out for Barcelona. This game has potential to go to overtime. Juricic, we're for three, no good, and maybe a bit rushed up to judgment on the shot there. Barca with the rebound. Ubal, off the screen. Ubal into the paint. Ubal, no good, and gets the foul. He'll go to the line to shoot a couple. Fouled by Bogovac. Uval, one of three at the line today. Silence hushes over this La Fonteta as the Barca fans cheer that Uval has made it a two possession game with 37.7 to go. 10 points for Uval. Ubal strings both cool, calm, collective free throws from the Uruguayan. Jovic and Mega need buckets quickly, and that's exactly what they need. A three-point opportunity, and it took four seconds off the clock as Najee bumps Jovic on the way to the free throw line. And Jovic knocks down a big free throw where he struggled all day. They don't need to foul, they just need to defend. 79-77, timeout Barcelona. We've got half a minute to determine a winner here and determine a second finalist in the championship game tomorrow.
an 11 point comeback for Barcelona early in the fourth quarter. Now it's Mega's turn to try to come back. Barcelona have been terrific defensively all year long and they'll hope they can stand one more time but if they can get a bucket on this possession it'll be the offense winning it and not the defense. Well, VR in this second half was fantastic defensively dishing the ball around getting that floater right there just six points but he's done so much more and Kai Salo how good has he been 23 points for him 23 points for Najee Kai Salo with a double double at 23 points and 11 rebounds So how will Barcelona come out and pressure? Bonilla over the top, that's Caicedo. They can take some time off the clock, but they need to get a good shot. That's priority number one. Uba driving left. Uba doesn't get the roll, but Najee's there with the rebound, and now they'll have to foul. Castel Castelnu will go to the line, and. You can only think he's in for his free throw shooting. He didn't play in the first game in the qualifiers of Valencia, but he doesn't get to the line that often because he doesn't play that often. Coach Tellez putting his trust in his number one, and he goes to the line and misses the first. Mega will have a chance. Biggest shot of Castanel's life right here. Castelno on the second, and that's off as well. Jovic with 10 on the clock. This is who you want with the ball in his hands late in the game. Jovic, the star for Mega, going to the bucket. Floater is short, getting the rebound back, and a big block from Naji to end the game. Barca are going to the championship tomorrow. We've got a all Spanish Classico in the Adidas Next Generation Tournament Finals Championship game. And Barca doing it with defense in the final possession. Jovic got a good look, tried on the follow up, and he was denied by Naji. What a game that was! 79 77. Real Madrid away Barcelona in the championship game tomorrow. What a performance, what a match, what an afternoon of basketball we've had here from Valencia. And look at how much it means to the guys at midcourt. This was an all out battle for 40 minutes. The winning team showing some love to the traveling fans here. The losing team heartbroken at center court. United as ever, but tears falling from their eyes. Jovic, he played so well today despite starting slow on the offensive end. 79-77 77 in a nail biter. Najee was incredible with 23 points. Caicedo with 23 points. The duo for Barca leading the way. Both with a double-double. Najee with 23 points, 12 rebounds. Caicedo with 23 points, 11 rebounds. And Barcelona with a trip to the championship game in their future. They were two favorites coming into the tournament. It's a shame that somebody has to go home after this one without an appearance in the championship game because they both were so good throughout not just the last two days, three days, but all tournament long dating back to the qualifiers. But it's Fabian Tellez's team moving on to the championship game 
and Barca will have a chance against their arch nemesis. We are going to James Naji courtside with the post-game interview, one of the heroes of Barcelona's semifinal win. Well, not a semifinal, but game three win that gets them to the championship. Let's hear from James Naji down with Luis Canuto.